Plug 1.1 was a Destiny 1 fusion rifle that is now returned to us in Destiny 2. This is an amazing fusion rifle that you definitely want to farm for. So how do you get it and which perks do you want? Stay tuned to find out. Gather your light and prepare for battle. Before we start, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, and I want more. Also, emblem giveaway. Comment down below to have a chance of winning. Plug is a precision frame fusion rifle that deals arc damage. You get this from Nightfalls this week and every third week after the week this video is posted. This is because next week the Nightfall will drop the Hung Jury Scout Rifle and the week after that will be the Uzume Sniper Rifle. Similar to the Palindrome, Swarm, and Shadow Price from last season, all you have to do is complete Nightfalls and you have a small chance of getting one at the end. You increase your chances however by running the harder difficulties. If you have a good team that can run Masters, go for that. Those have about a 1 in 3 chance of dropping the plug. For solo players, go for the hero difficulty. This is the highest difficulty that allows you to matchmake for a team and is fairly fast and easy to run. There is also an adept version of this weapon. This will be able to equip adept mods and get an additional 3 points in every stat after masterworking it. You get it from the Grandmaster Nightfalls that launched June 22nd. This season, Grandmaster Nightfalls are 1360 power, so you'll need to grind for pinnacle rewards and XP up to 1335 in order to attempt those Nightfalls. Now, I know what you're really here for, so let's get into the perks. The plug rolls with all of these perks. Focusing on the two main perk columns, some things that stick out to me for PvE are things like Feeding Frenzy, Adrenaline Junkie, and Reservoir Burst. Adrenaline Junkie is a new perk that increases your damage after getting grenade kills. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that I love grenade builds. This is just going to make all grenade builds that much better. Reservoir Burst is also great for damage. The first burst of your magazine will deal more damage and cause enemies to explode. This was an amazing perk back in the day when it was only on Loaded Question. And this is not only still great, but the best perk for all fusion rifles in PvE. Yes, you'll definitely want to grab one with this. The best perk to pair with this will be Feeding Frenzy. This allows you to reload quickly after kills, stacking up to 5 times. When you're causing massive explosions with your first burst, you'll be able to easily reach maximum reload speed often. Then you'll be able to get another Reservoir Burst and continue the cycle. The battery I would choose to go with this is Liquid Coils to increase damage at the cost of charge time. For PvP, we have a few interesting options. Once again, I would go with Liquid Coils for increased damage, which indirectly means increased range. The main perks you want to keep an eye out for would be Heating Up, Under Pressure, Killing Wind, and Quick Draw in the third column, and Kickstart or Backup Plan in the final column. Heating Up increases accuracy, stability, and recoil after getting kills. Every part of this perk is good for fusion rifles. Just get one kill and you'll be sniping people with your fusion rifle. It could potentially be the air until meta all over again. Another way to achieve this will be Under Pressure. Improve stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. You only spawn with 2 ammo and crucible, so I'm sure you see where this is going. Yeah, stupid easy to activate and so good. Killing Wind isn't high on my list, but it's still pretty good. Increased mobility, range, and handling after getting a kill. Still a great perk, but come on. The last perk you may want is Quick Draw. I know it just got nerfed, but I think it'll be fun to pair with Backup Plan. Speaking of Backup Plan, reduces charge time and handling after swapping to this weapon. This is great against shotgun apes, and I guess it's good against really anything. The final perk that you may consider is Kickstart. Gain bonus damage and charge rate during sliding. If you like to slide around like a stasis titan, then go for it. In summary, PvE rolls to look for, Liquid Coils, Feeding Frenzy, and Reservoir Burst. PvP rolls are Liquid Coils, Heating Up or Under Pressure, and Backup Plan or Kickstart. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe. It's free and it only takes one button click. Also, if you want a chance of winning this Between Stars emblem, subscribe and leave a comment on any of my videos until the end of June. If you can't think of anything, comment 1.1. Thank you all for watching, I'm Marshix and I'll see you next time.